back to the 1-6 tutorial on painting an Obi-Wan Kenobi head sculpt. In this video we will cover how to paint hair, eyebrows, and facial hair. This is a relatively straightforward process, but I'll share some tips and tricks to get a realistic look. First, let's talk about supplies. You'll need your paints, a large round tip brush, a small detail brush, and dull coat to act as a sealant. I apply the first coat with a larger brush to get most of the surface area covered. Since the head has been sealed prior to this step, it's okay if you have a little bit of slop. Simply wipe away any excess with a damp brush. I like to apply two coats of the darker tone in order to get a solid base. Since Kenobi has a beard, be sure to paint the beard as well. We'll do two coats of this, seal the paintwork with dull coat, and then come back for the next step. Now that the two coats are done and sealed with dull coat, we can move on to the next layer. But first, let's paint those eyebrows. Kenobi didn't have a very strong brow game, and on the sculpt you'll notice recessed lines rather than raised ones. Simply add paint to this area and wipe away the excess with your finger. It should leave just a bit of paint in the recessed areas to give it a great wispy look. Later on we'll use a little bit of skin tone to blend these in further, but this is primarily all the work you need to do for the eyebrows. With the eyebrows out of the way, let's do some more work on Kenobi's hair and beard. While Kenobi's hair is gray overall, you may notice he has a touch of blonde. Blonde hair can be a bit tricky, and what I've found to work is to mix a bit of white, brown, and yellow paint. Once you've mixed a tone that you like, add it to where is needed on the sculpt. For Kenobi, this would be the sides of his beard, back of the head, bangs, and front of the beard. Essentially framing his face. It doesn't need to be perfect at this point, just roughed in so that later on the blonde will show through after you've added other layers of paint. Once the blonde layer has dried, we will mix up a lighter gray tone and dry brush this all over the hair and beard. Let this dry, and then we can add the final layer. As I've said a few times, slop is really not something we need to be too concerned about at this stage. Since we've sealed the heads prior, if you do notice any areas where there's extra paint, you can simply wipe it off with a brush like this. Now we can start adding the lightest layer. Again, using a dry brush technique, but this time only adding color to certain areas of the sculpt where the hair appears the lightest. I do notice that the blonde is not coming through quite as much as I would like. To fix this, I'm going to mix up a slightly darker blonde tone and reapply, then blend it back in with the lightest gray tone. The last step is to clean up the hair and beard line by blending them back with a bit of the light skin tone. Using a dry brush, simply work the skin tone back into the sculpt to create a soft, natural-looking transition between the skin and hair. A common mistake is to skip this step, and it leads to the beard and hair looking painted on. Once you're satisfied with the look, use one more layer of dull coat to seal the work. And there you have it. The hair and beard are done. You may notice a bit of slop, but not to worry, this will be addressed in the final video of the tutorial. Additionally, since we used dull coat to seal the head, this has removed the glossy look we achieved earlier with the eyes. This will also be remedied. Thanks for watching, and as before, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And be on the lookout for the next tutorial coming soon.